is what it is. They, they use the, the TV to program us from a young age. Watch people. Because you can fake for a long time, but one day you're going to show yourself to be a phony. And that's what these, you know a lot of people are doing these days. They, they got a lot of, um, uh, let's get like another one is Prodigy from Mob D. He, you know, all of a sudden I see this guy come out and he's like, he's like, yo, I fucked the new world order. Americans are traditionally independent, very hard to control. But the architects of the new world order have ways to force you into submission. Illuminati war my mind, soul, and my body. Secret society trying to keep their eye on me. But I'm a state incognito. Your places they can't find me. Make my moves strategically. You know, he's like doing it to be a bit sentenced. Oh, for, I think they caught him with a gun. Is he the dude that was from uh, one of 50 Cent's Boys Crews? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came out that song, Illuminati. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now he's supposedly out against these guys. This is the guy that talk about real, real, real niggas who ain't got no feelings, killers. How can these people be talking about how they so real and they don't care about our communities? How can they be talking about what they all this, you know, the hood, blah, 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 blah. They don't care about our communities. I got you stuck off the realness. We be the infamous, you heard of us. Official Queensbridge murderers. And all this shit, and hey, now he's doing a 360 turn, or fuck the Illuminati. Albert Pike, the Pope of Freemasonry, in the 1800s, said we always give the public their heroes. We give the heroes to every faction, every side. And then people... Once they hear this person saying all the right things, we'll give their allegiance to that person because he or she speaks for me. That's how we rationalize it. And we sit back and we guide it again. We say, go here, go do this, do that, we do it. You see? We give our power to the authorized heroes. Listen to what they say. Don't just bob your head to the beat. Peep the game. And listen to what I'm saying. Hold us accountable for it. I, I, oh, I, I remember Tupac was talking about him, man. Tupac talked about him. He said, watch, he, he's the one, he's the one. He said, well, Jay-Z, Nas, and Prodigy. This nigga Nas went back home and started talking to that fake thug and dropping little Jews and his shit. And that's wrong. Because you should have said that to me when I was right there. And you know what's funny? They all sold out. Wow. They here to cause confusion. All these weak rappers, Nas, all these suckers. We out here trying to help our people make money. We trying to get out of this three strike circle they got us in. Cause y'all some tellers opposite of bankers. I'm the shit for ages. My click still real QB gangsters. Click still moving like Freemasons. So if I'm on the flow from the law, there's lodges all across the nation. Nas is bred for the plan. To hold the grand dragon's head in my hand. Come and get me here. He talked about all of those three guys, and you know what's funny? They all sold out. Wow. Uh, well, I have an interview with Bill Moyers from uh, 2003, uh, where Bill Gates is discussing all his philanthropy and how much he's helping Africa. And uh, Moyers kind of brings up the idea of where did you get inspired? And Bill Gates' response is, when I was growing up, my dad was, quote, head of Planned Parenthood. This is eugenics. It, Planned Parenthood's one branch of it, population control. They are eugenicists. Bill Gates. Margaret Sanger called black people weeds and said, don't let them know that we want to kill them. Planned Parenthood. Bill Gates' father, head of Planned Parenthood. They're killing them. But what's new? Because nobody will yell out. They're all too busy living lives as lies of the sellout. Well, you can tell that uh, that one guy from 50 Cent's crew with the tattoos all over his face. Tattoos. Oh, his name. Face. The game. Oh, uh, yeah. I, oh, I seen the game God. in an interview when it was for the best hip hop bands of all time. Mm hmm. And he was giving uh, his props to the one guy. He's got the teardrops. The young guy's mm -hmm. father was in the rap business. He's all the shit now. Mm -hmm. The hell is Lil his Wayne. Name? 
Lil Wayne. And he was saying Lil Wayne's the king of hip hop and all. And I was thinking, man, that's like two of the biggest sellouts. You know, they even had a few before that was KRS One. And I don't know if he's legit or not, but he he sure uh, raps a lot of bunch of cool shit. I don't know what to think of that guy. Let me tell you about KRS One. KRS One knows about this shit. Like, you know, oh yeah, he raps he, about it a lot. Yeah, he's on he's on Jordan Macro website. I heard some uh, old audio from Jordan Maxwell with uh, William Cooper, and he was he was talking about how bad secret societies are, this and that. And then I hear some more audio of his, and here he is, uh, the year 2000, uh, proclaiming how great masonry is. Uh, well, are you surprised? I'm not. What does the rich versus poor really mean? Psychologically, it means you gotta pick your team. When someone says the rich gets richer, visualize wealth and put yourself in the picture. <laughs> Rich get richer cause they work toward rich. The poor get poorer cause they mind can't switch from the ghetto. Let go, it's not a novelty. You can love your neighborhood without loving poverty. Follow me, every mother, father, son, daughter. There's no reason to fear the new world order. The big brother watching over you is a lie, you see. Hip-hop has built its own secret society. But first, you and I got to unify. Stop this negativity and control our creativity. The rich is getting richer while we ain't richer. Could it be? We still thinking like niggas? The thing with the game, too. I remember uh, the, he says in the, beginning of the, in the beginning of the album, he's like, Sometimes you just gotta play the game. Play the game. You're in the game, gotta have ball control. You see fame, it's all a roll. New lights, actions, carpet, a camera snap and pop life. Is it a demand for fashion? Are we really real or are we acting? Where do the fake smiles and masks and rationalize? Try to make it real compared to what? Some of my people keep rocking on. Some of my people keep rocking on. And, I, and then I understood what he was saying, man. He, Basically saying that he knows how the world works and you just got to play, go along. So if there's a way that you can get out of the game before it's too late, get out the game before it's too late. If you're going to be in the game and you're committing yourself fully, then, you know, do what you can to give back to the community that you're raping. But do you think these dudes are going to be let, you know, to just chill out? No question. It's all about the DOE. So if money is the root, I want the whole damn tree. Ain't trying to stick around for Illuminati. Got to buy my own island by the year 2G. But do you think these dudes are going to be let, you know, to just chill out and they're no. probably about to hang back? No, no they're gonna get, yeah, they don't need them. They, those people are like, they're nothing, man. They, yeah, but they, they'll probably be allowed, uh, they're, they're, you know, why they sell their soul is because they think they can just die out in luxury, right? No, nah, they just do it for Fuck the money. everybody else coming after me. No, nah, they don't see the big picture and they do it for the money. They don't see yeah. the big picture. They see, see, that's how psychopaths are. They don't see past their own life. Well, let me ask you, Alan. Um, you had alluded back uh, a little while ago uh, to the term psychopath. And there's a number of books that I have read regarding the Illuminati and so forth. And it seems like the large majority, if not all of these people, are psychopaths. Yeah. It's like they gravitate towards this. They are power hungry uh, and they have to be of a certain mindset without conscience or soul, if you will, yeah. um, to actually you know, uh, be put into this position. I mean, the lower levels are, I don't know whether they're analyzed or whether they are tested or whatever it is that happens before they don't get up into the upper echelons of this control grid unless they are indeed psychopaths. Would you Absolutely. Uh, even with the, the regular Freemasonry at the bottom, that's where they come in. That's the catchment area. And, and those who can keep their mouth shut, or keep secrets, are gradually sifted out. The ones who don't mind um, getting extra free benefits from society, the profane beneath them, are, are watched. And if they're useful, especially in the area of creating public opinion,